Hello everyone, this is Daisy, aka the Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to do the mid-February 2020 reading for Earth Signs, okay? So Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos. Let's get into it. These readings have been hecka real. Like, what is going on? I swear Mercury Retrograde is not playing. I'm going to do a read for everyone on Mercury Retrograde, okay? Because it's lit, lit. All right. Dear Brian, what loving ancestors, what messages do you have for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, March, sorry, February 2020. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, March 2020. Oh, February, mid-February. Oh, okay, because I don't want to uh, get that out because the, the March readings are coming. All right, messages for um, Earth signs from now to the end of February. I guess the month of March is going to be really important for y'all. Now to the end of February for Earth signs. Earth signs. Now to the end of <clears throat> February. Messages for Earth signs. Messages for Earth signs. All right. So, Earth signs. You have Goddess of the Moon here. So, someone is tapping more into their intuitive side. You could be uh, um, dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a Pisces as well yourself. Or have a moon and a water sign, okay? Um, but with this goddess of the moon here, I feel like this new moon and then the full moon that's coming is going to reveal a lot to you, all right, earth sign? I also feel as though this Mercury retrograde is going to be really powerful for you because it's in Pisces, okay? And specifically if you're a Virgo, all right, because that's her sister sign. But what I also see here with goddess of the moon, that's the moon card to me. And I feel like there's some secrets that were maybe hidden and un beneath the surface in, uh, about a relationship. And now it's coming to the surface in regards to how imbalanced that connection was because you have the caring connections card here as well in the middle, right? The caring connections came out in the reverse. So in the month from now to the end of uh, uh, um, February, you're going to find that there's going to be secrets revealed about a relationship that maybe was not it wasn't what you thought it was right it could be a karmic relationship right and then you're going to be focusing more on bringing that balance to your life with the yin and yang here focusing more on like okay how can i stabilize myself how can i get myself grounded how can i focus more on the things that are going to really um get me back to you know my my high priestess mode my intuitive self my balanced self okay let's check some stuff out Maybe the person you're dealing with found out there were secrets being hidden in their relationship and there was an imbalance between the masculine and the feminine energy and now they're realizing like I can't deal with someone who's polarized and not, and not balanced. I need someone who's, you know, grounded and unified within themselves. Clarify goddess of the moon. Yeah, with the three of swords and the devil here. Someone was hiding. There was some heartbreak and betrayal that happened. Secrets came out. The devil card here. Someone could potentially have been using spell work. Or there could have been some toxicity, some negativity, control dynamics, codependency for sure. Clarify the devil card. Yeah, with the six of wands here. There could have also been something here with um, social media. Someone getting exposed. Fear around exposure because the moon card is here as well. Someone has some fear about some exposure. They're heartbroken about it as well. Um, so that, and they don't want whatever this moon is going to reveal is going to bring it out. But it's like the retrograde is going to expose some stuff too. Mm -hmm. Clarify caring connections. Perfect. With the two of swords. Now with the caring connections being here in the two of swords, I feel like someone was indecisive. They were going back and forth in their consciousness because you see here. The two of swords, it's like black versus white, right? But they're connected to the same body. But it's like someone was torn in between two people or someone was torn in between two situations or they were in two minds about a situation, about a relationship that was not fulfilling really to begin with is what, from what I'm seeing here. Clarify the caring connections, please. Clarify the caring connections. Okay, with the ace of... Ooh, shit, talky mushrooms. With the ace of swords and the five of... um. Uh, cups. Hold on one second. All right, 
So anyways, um, with the Five of Cups clarifying this caring connections and the Ace of Swords, someone was in denial about a relationship. I see now what's going on here. Someone was in denial about their partner, okay, that they were dealing with for a while. This person was conniving. They were toxic. They were manipulative. They probably could have been having infidelity, etc. Something was exposed. Something was exposed via social media, DMs. Something came out publicly about this person they were dealing with. They were in denial with the two of swords here, right? Now the truth has come out that this person was a liar, conniving. They just try, try to cause confusion, de uh, delays, and they manipulate with the ace of swords here. And then the five of cups being here, this person is mourning because they're like, wow, I really thought this person was, you know, da 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 da, -da and, and they were not who I thought they were with the five of cups being here. So there's some, some, some sadness about that. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, earth signs and from now to the end of uh, February okay clarify yin and yang clarify yin and yang yeah with the five of wands here so with the yin and yang and the five of wands this person it could be you or the person you're dealing with take it how it resonates cross watcher um, wants to put the conflict to an end here they want they're done fighting they're done arguing they want to start to focus on integrating themselves and bringing themselves together towards a space of healing clarify yin and yang because whoever they're probably dealing with was very volatile. They liked conflict. They liked drama. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords here in reverse, they're done with the mental chaos, feeling trapped, anxiety, turmoil, chaos every single day. They're done feeling like that. They want to move forward now into a place where they feel balanced in their masculine and their feminine self. Not too emotional, not too rational. Perfect. And the person that they're probably dealing with was very polarized and caused a lot of problems. Seems It sounds like the, you know, the person that you're dealing with take, or you take how it resonates is dealing with the karmic situation here there was a lot of lies deception manipulation but now it's out now it's all out in the open goddess of the moon this person was very sneaky they kept secrets could have been using spell work as well to keep this person trapped in this dynamic clarify um uh what messages do you have out here for uh earth signs messages for earth signs messages for earth signs gemini uh earth signs capricorn taurus virgo messages for capricorn taurus and virgo Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Here we have domestic harmony. So that's exactly what I'm saying with the uh, Karen Connections card. There was a lot of fights, conflict, drama, chaos, and arguments in this relationship. It was not a Karen connection, okay? And this person is now starting to see that and they want to make amends and move towards something else. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. With the love partnership, this person could be getting out. It could be you or the person you're dealing with. They're getting out of this partnership and they want to come towards something that's loving, that's whole, that's sustainable, right? That can fulfill them, right? Then you have the spirituality card here. I feel like this person too with the yin and yang, they're balancing. After getting out of that mental trap and this five of wands conflict and drama and chaos energy, now they really wanted to focus on their spirituality. I feel like this person had to go through that, especially with this goddess of the moon here and this caring connection reverse. They had to go through the turmoil, the chaos and the drama to see who this person was not because maybe it was like a continuous cycle. With the eight of swords here, this tells me that this is something that was like kept on going on, like one sword after another, after an another, one lie after another, after another. Another one cycle after another after another, all rooted in lies with the Ace of Swords here, right? This person was in denial the whole time about the toxicity that this person was harboring within them. Now it came out in the public and open and there's there's lack of stability and harmony in their household. This is not a partnership that they want to be involved in. Now they want to focus on their spirituality. Could have been two hella people were involved in this situation, keeping this relationship together, friends or family that wanted to see them together, even though it was toxic because they were living through them both, right? Because people do that. Um... Or it could also be that, you know, there's a lot of people involved to keep you you two apart, whoever this is, and keep this relationship going. Take it how it resonates. All right? Earth signs, wow, that just came straight through. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. All right, messages for earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Messages for earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Messages for earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Turtilla Agate, Boundaries. It says here, I value my time and energy. I spend time with positive people or, or those or with those whom I can uplift. Turtilla Agate, Boundaries being here. Um, I feel like what was going on in the situation, there could have been a lack of boundaries, some codependency. I do feel a lot of like comp competition, competitive energy, controlling who's going to have a like power dynamic type of energy, power struggle type of energy. Then you have Howlite, Meditation. 
And it says here, I take time to meditate. When I filter out negative mind chatter, I attain inner peace. Because I feel like this, really, this whatever was going on here was very toxic and tumultuous. Hence the spirituality card here. And then the Eight of Swords being here with the moon again. And the moon again here in the Five of Swords. I feel like there was, there's a lot of subconscious stuff. Like stuff from childhood, subconscious programming, those type of things that were driving this relationship and connection. Now it's coming out. I also feel like too, whatever's going on here requires like spiritual grounding because it was very tumultuous and toxic. And now someone has to kind of rebuild their value system is what I'm hearing here. All right. So anyways, Earth Science, that is your uh, mid-February reading, okay? For Earth Science, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If you need a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Once again, my name is Daisy, aka Professional High Priestess, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.